Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. I'm still a chick because that's my default skin, apparently. Um, so, at the end of the last episode, I turned off the recorder and uh, illagers were waiting for me, which is why I have this emerald and this illager banner. Um, so, I guess we'll put that there now. And, uh, yeah, so, and I have an emerald. That's kind of funny. Okay, we've got a few things to do in this episode. The first thing we're going to do is go get some diamonds that I have found. I want to show you guys that. And um, something else I want to do is take some obsidian that I gathered off camera and build a few more portals. Uh, okay, zero, zero. Um, also, I could show you the old pit the old uh zombie whatever um what am i trying to say zombie spawner um it producing zombies even though it was well lit was a bug it was a glitch and i downloaded an update and uh, we're fine now but i could show you with this because i found another spawner uh, off camera and i haven't done anything with it other than throw a few torches down but as you can see this is not spawning zombies any longer even though it is less thoroughly lit up than the other one so that was just a bug it's fixed there's some gold i'll want to be picking up later there's a little bit of that should we grab it as long as we're here we might as well i'm not going to be doing much diamond m diming much mining in this episode other than a few diamonds um, but we will grab this as long as we're here. I saved it for you guys because it was near the new spawner. Now, I really haven't done that much off camera other than some boring stuff. Uh, mining around through the stone. Um, okay, let's see. I need to get, I need to sh find the diamonds. Yeah, there's diamonds this way. Um, I've been mining a few circles or squares rather uh, at diamond level around zero zero we're gonna use the silk touch pick to grab these ores yep there's one okay because I haven't picked up ores yet this is just three here but very nearby and I mean very nearby there's another small vein of uh, four I think so seven altogether five six seven and i did do kind of the uncomfortable work of getting underneath the diamonds and filling that in with cobblestone so we couldn't we couldn't wreck it i don't think there's anything that way although i haven't really tried okay and there's some more diamonds somewhere uh how do i get out of here this way there's some more diamonds at this um ring i dug around the x and z 38 coordinates yeah here so we'll follow this back that's kind of a fluke that i found those but here's 38 38 so we'll continue you know i have rings at 34 and 32 and 28 and going down four all the way to zero see there's 34 there's 28 down there um 38 is as far i'm sorry 30 uh, 38 is as far out as I've gone. And I know there was some more diamonds visible along this ring. I just don't remember exactly where they were. So we'll find those, and then uh, I've got big plans for the obsidian. I've been working on um, making the nether a little more safe. Aha, here we go. What do we got here? Six? I think six here. So, very nice little find here. Let's eat. And we'll set to work on these. Three, four, five, six for a lucky 13. 13 is a baker's dozen. 12 is a regular dozen. And 11 is a packer's dozen. Because I am a Minnesota Vikings fan and I don't like the Green Bay Packers. Although, whatever, if you're a Packers fan, that's fine. More power to you. It's a lot more about um, where you were born or by whom you were raised. 
you know, or who you were friends with when you first got into football, if you ever did. So, you know, it's not personal. It just kind of is what it is. Oh, it's night. Let's go to sleep. The base is kind of really coming along without us trying to. I think in a future episode, I would like to, I would, what I would like to do is climb to the top of this and we'll do that in this episode and uh, have a real close look at, um, oh, there's a burning monster at uh, exactly the best way to handle things. Okay, let's make sure that we have our fortune pick with us. Good, we don't need the silk touch anymore. Uh, and I put away the fortune one as well. Whoops. Fortune three, okay. Okay, we've got 13. I'm hoping for 40, but I'll be happy with 30. Hey, look, it's another traitor. These guys like this area. Hopefully the illagers won't come back. Yeah, I want to come back up here and and then take a look at these areas and see which one the furthest one out is, probably that one, and then figure out where we want to build, like, our ring bridge around sort of bridge. Wow, four, seven, ten. We're doing really well. Okay, I'm not looking at the diamond count anymore. I'm just looking at the center of the screen, and then we'll look at the tally together. 28. Boy! Things went south in a hurry. I said I was hoping for 40, happy with 30, and we started out so strong we got four from the first ore and three from the second one. What happened? I'll have to go back and watch. We didn't leave any, like, sitting around somewhere. They're gonna un-despawn, right? Hey, you want diamonds? No, just emeralds. I don't, I don't know. What is this? I'd like to know what that is. Okay, we're also going to do some enchanting because um, we need to. Uh, okay, so 28 diamonds plus we got more in here, which is great. Um, what do we need? We have all iron armor and no helmet. So we should definitely make a helmet. We don't need a chest plate. I like our looting sword, but an unbreaking sword would be good. I like our two pickaxes, although adding efficiency to one or both of them eventually would be good. Do we have sticks? We do have sticks. Okay, so let's work on making some stuff. And uh, do I have a crafting bench out here? No, I probably should. And I'm going to want some lapis. Boy, sorry, my thoughts are kind of all over the place. I'm at, it's a weird time of day. I don't normally record this time of day. Uh, that's enough for eight enchants, which we don't have enough experience to do anyway. We only have enough for three. Let's make a helmet. Um, and I guess we'll play it by ear from there. I want to see what these would get. And do I have any books? I should probably have a book. Uh, there's three books right here. So we'll test uh, picks and swords. I'm not interested in the enchanted shovel or uh, axe yet. And we'll also test this stuff. Respiration. Ooh. That's really tempting. Let's see what this would do. Thorns 2. Terrible. Thorns 2. Terrible. Unbreaking? No. Bane of arthropods. Efficiency? No, I'm breaking. Oh, what's the book going to do? Efficiency. Um. I mean, yeah. I want efficiency on both my picks. It's just efficiency three. Okay, let's see what the helmet's at now. Fire protection four. Do I hear a... I heard it drowned, but... Okay, fire protection four, fire protection four, blast protection three, unbreaking still. Is this going to be Bane? No, unbreaking. Ooh, okay, I want unbreaking on a sword so I can add it to my other sword. So let's make a sword out of those ingredients. And we'll enchant it and we'll see if we can get, or at least we'll put it in. And we'll see if we can get um, Unbreaking to show up. 
Sometimes it's different from uh, iron to diamond. Did I check my helmet? Yeah, fire protection I did, okay. Unbreaking, yeah, let's do it. Unbreaking and sharpness. Ooh, I can combine that with my other one to get a increased sharpness because I think the other one's sharpness three. Okay, aqua affinity. Uh, let's take this out so we don't make a mistake. Projectile protection. What I'm looking for is regular protection or unbreaking for my armor in the early days. I already checked on that. Let's check on this. Unbreaking. Smite. Ooh. Uh, I don't care so much about smite. An unbreaking axe might be really good for... Hmm. For harvesting. Unbreaking three. That's really good. Want unbreaking and protection. Not projectile protection. Yeah, I'm not super pumped about... Unbreaking. What am I going to be doing more of? Cutting down trees or... You know, I could try putting a bow in there. Oh, but you get enchanted. As soon as I find a skeleton spawner, I'm going to be upset with my decision to do that because... Um, enchanted bows and enchanted fishing rods are not hard to come by. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do some... Oh, it's already sharpness 4. Okay, but it will give me unbreaking on my looting and sharpness. Mm, maybe I keep those separate for now. I don't know. I don't know. We've got enough diamonds to go... You know what? We've got enough diamonds to make the armor that I want to make. I want 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for boots and pants. So we'll make both, and we'll see if either show different stuff in the enchanting table. And then I guess we'll toss a bow in there just to see... Just to see what we see. I, I could put a trident in there, I guess. But I don't really... Blast protection. Fire protection. Projectile protection. I mean, I do get... Shot sometimes. Yeah, no, I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna make an axe. And, uh, give it... Unbreaking. Boy, this is taking a long time, isn't it? Okay, let's put uh, this stuff away. And let's put this on and this on. And this on. And then we'll make our axe. And then we'll toss that in and see what we get. Unbreaking. Okay. Yep, and that's it. Okay. All right, well, that's okay. Uh, we'll make an anvil and add efficiency to it. Let's see, those aren't tools. I want to be kind of careful about how I do this here. I don't need that with me. Where we're going. I don't want to do too much organizing. In fact, this is my, this is my junk drawer here. So rather than put stuff away the right spot, I'll just dump everything in here, and then I'll come fix it later. Oh, I never did stick a bow in, did I? To see what it would do. Oh, well. i got a push notification on my phone. Is it my kid? Nope. I mean, yes, but... Non-urgent. Okay. What did I say I was going to do? I was going to make an anvil. Uh, you need blocks and ingots for that. Three of one and four of another. Right? Oh, I just made two. That was dumb. Oh, well. Um, 
What was I going to combine? Maybe these two. Probably efficiency on this one. Where's that book? We'll just see how much it is. Cost three. That's a good early pick. Um, cost 13 for unbreaking sharpness and looting. Or do it the other way for six. I don't need the lapis to do that. And three. We'll go ahead and do both. Now we have a fortune unbreaking slash efficiency pick, which may come in handy one day. Um, so yeah, I guess we have an extra anvil. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, let's grab our obsidian. I think it's in here. Look at all that tasty obsidian. And we want a diamond pick. Oh, it's already nighttime. Um, and I'm wondering if we don't just... Make a new one? Like, I really don't want to lose one of those. So yeah, I think we do. We got lots of diamonds. We can afford it. I should have stuck this in the table, though, to see what it would have done before my last time, just in case. Because sometimes iron won't give you the same thing. Yeah, it's showing fortune now. Okay. All right, let's sleep. Then we'll make a few beds and grab them, and then we'll hop into the nether and travel... Uh or quick destination places. Did I have any beds sitting around already? Maybe. Here's lots of wool, though. And, uh... Grab some wood. Okay, so... Three. That's four beds. That should be plenty. Okay, we'll put the wool back. We'll keep this. I don't know how handy the water is going to be. We got some food. I guess we'll take some more food. Is there any food in any of these? Look, there's a bunch. Awesome. Okay, and I got my diamond pick. We're good to go. Let's finally climb up here. And we'll make a plan for our... Uh, Bridge. If I'm talented enough, I'd like to build a circular bridge. That would be some work, though. But that's okay. We're not afraid of work. Let's hop up here. And, uh, let's see. That's close. That's close. Close, right. So, I mean, the bridge could hit, like, here... You know, it might look kind of cool to have it this close, and then when it gets to here, have, like, long pole support poles going down to the surface there, but have it be as tall as this is. And then we'll just sort of build it around like this. That'll be cool. Okay, let's hop through here, and I'll show you what's going on in the nether. I don't have any blocks with me. Actually, let's not hop through just yet. Let's check and see if we've got any blocks in here. At least got some nether rack and some gravel. Ooh, and I really ought to bring a flint and steel with me, shouldn't I? Shoot. I didn't think of that. I'm gonna need a faster way up to the. What was that? Something hurt me? Yeah, these boys. You jerks. You're gonna die now. I got diamond armor. You think I'm afraid of you? Haha. -ha. Hey, like them apples. Oh, I should not be under there. I can't breathe under there. Okay. Quickly now, Peter. Quickly now. We need a flint and steel. And... We don't need a bunch of this stuff. Cluttering up the old inventory. Okay, let's put this here. 
Yeah, that'll do. Okay. I want that down there as well, as a matter of fact. All right, back up we go. So we're going to hop through, and uh, I've, I've dug a tunnel, just a little two-by-one tunnel, just big enough to fit our blocky little self into, um, to 125 dir blocks away from zero, 00 in all four cardinal directions. Okay, we're going to want this gravel here. So we're actually going to move... We're actually going to move this. We're done with this. It's a good thing I have my flint and steel. I've got it, right? Excuse me. Can you go into the inventory, please? Yeah, I do have it. Okay. Um, I will not harvest all of these. I will harvest one of these. Just to deactivate that portal. Okay, and then from here, we're going to slap these down so we can come back for more yep right here more of this when the time is right oops okay one more now we're in so we're going to build new portal up here at zero zero and this will be where we end up when we go through the one at the top of the tower in the overworld near our base there see that bedrock that means we're up at the top here, so you do not need to use diamond to get this stuff away. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. One, two, three. One, two, three. Want to move quick, but not so quick that I have to redo anything here. Okay, and that goes there, and that goes there, and boom! Now that's our new way. So, uh, let's just pick... Oh, this way goes to the... Um, where does it go? It takes us to the fortress. The nether, nether fortress. Um, so that's why that brick is there. But also, at 125... This is where our portal's gonna go. So I've done this in all four directions, and uh, we'll pop through these, whoops, and see what adventure awaits. Now, I don't mind leaving the corners unfilled in, but I do like making them an odd number so that they're symmetrical. Okay, I don't remember where our two bases were. We built two bases at, a, at zero and 1,000, Uh, wow, is this right on top of our house? It is. So this is the one that would be right here. So remember when we built this place? Is there a bed in here? And we lost the cat somewhere near here. Somebody commented exactly where the cat was last seen, and I appreciate that. We'll have to go on a mission to see if we can recover it. Huh. <laughs> tempted to bring those snowballs into the, uh, the old nether to maybe fight some, uh, Uh, blaze with, but we won't. Okay, so 1,000 and 0, and now if I remember correctly, um, we went to Z equals negative 1,000 and X equals 0. Uh, so we'll move, we'll move that obsidian portal we just auto-generated is it going to be this way, or is it going to be this way? I don't know. I don't remember, but my goal is to do all four, even though I think today's going to be a shorter episode. I'm trying to avoid the, uh, the stuff that happens to the commentary sometimes, where it kind of snap crackles and pops. Can we combine these yet without losing any of our boost? I think we can. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? We'll move that. We'll move it so it's right on zero, but we'll do that later when we're making a little more of a effort put into our outpost. Whoops. Yep, see, I went too fast. Now I gotta take the time and get this back. 
Sorry, guys. That's what happens. How's my commentary level? Eh, it looks okay. Plop one of those down. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is our other... Uh, I might be wrong about this. I thought... Maybe I did the two positive 1,000 values. Um, yeah, this looks... New. Anything interesting here? Hello? Minecraft world. Do we have any, um, like, uh, an ocean monument or anything? That would be kind of cool. Just checking things out. So this will be kind of an ocean outpost. Which is cool. Okay, so at negative 1000 Z value, that's our ocean output. Or our out, output. Outpost. Ocean outpost. So 0 and 1000 then must be... Uh, Where the uh, the one where the creeper injured our cat but was unable to do it all the way in. So we'll go to that one next and we'll leave a mystery for the fourth one. So I imagine we'll just go in a straight line here and that will be that. Da, 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 da. This will set up all sorts of uh, world exploration, though. We'll have an episode where we build the North Outpost and uh, another episode where we explore around the North Outpost. Also, I'd like to name them. Um, oh, hello, Glowstone. If uh, I should have brought this little touch. And I want to name them after dwellers who live north, south, east, or west of me in IRL, in real life. I'm in Minnesota, USA, so a north outpost really could be anything north of Minnesota, even if it's not, like, straight north. So Canada would make a lot of sense, or, like, I don't know, Alaska, or, um, closest to the North Pole. But, like, if you're in, I don't know, Iceland, or, um, Russia, or something, like, I would consider naming the northern outpost after you. Oh, look, here's our other house. Yeah, this is the... So we'll we'll move this to here. Now, this these auto-generated ones, by the way, take 14, because they fill in the... They're 2 by 3 but they fill in the corners. And these are 3 by 3 with not filled-in corners. So we actually gain 2 obsidian every time we generate one. And since it's nighttime, let's go ahead and sleep here real quick. So we traveled here by foot the long way a couple of episodes ago. Are there any bad guys I should be looking out for? Yeah, there's lots of clay here to collect, and we'll put a... Boom. We'll put one here. And that'll be cool. Oh, look, it replaced my roof. Do I hear... Oh, I do hear. Hello, spider. We could be friends. I'm cool with that. You guys are so gentle during the day. You're passive. Or neutral, anyway. I guess passive would be the wrong thing to say, because if I attack you, you're going to attack back. The spiders have kind of grown on me in Minecraft. Um, they're, like, weirdly huge. Uh, I know the game is not a realistic game, but... Like, the size of a zombie is about the size of... Me. Oh, hello. Hello. That is a close-up and personal view. Wow! <laughs> when I jump, I get really close to the screen, so it's like, doo, 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 doo. Seizure alert, right? Pew, pew, pew. Whoops, okay. Um, where are we going? We're going this way. This will be our final 
uh, portal that we create today. Let's eat some steak since we're getting a little, a little hungry from all the running and jumping and mining we've been doing. And this will be our uh, last outpost. Yeah, so <clears throat> in the comments of this video, though, if you live north or west or east or south of me in where I'm at in Minnesota, USA, and in case you're in Minnesota, um, I'm in Elk River which is north and west of Minneapolis and St. Paul. So if you're in the Twin Cities, you could be west or, or I'm sorry, east or south outpost, I suppose. And uh, you can ask me, you could, you could suggest a name for the outpost, like it could be your username or your name in real life, first name or last name only, I guess, uh, so as not to dox you we want to protect your identity or you know the name of a pet or the name of uh, um i don't know something okay so here's our last outpost uh, gra uh surface coal cows a snowy hill we are kind of high up at 80 this actually would be a really cool place to build like something big what is this yellow out here is this sand because this is flat and there's not really trees to remove. Yeah, it is sand. So let's see if we can get... I'll bet the file, the save file, is growing with all these new chunks loading. Ooh, look at this cave. We'll want to explore that for sure. And where is actual zero, zero? It's right... here. So this will be where, one, two, three, where we actually, one, two, three, where we actually build the ding dong uh, when it's time. Speaking of actually building, though, is there anything super interesting around here other than this cave? I'm trying to get a look. Let's go way up and see if we see anything cool. Um, maybe another few blocks here, that'll do. Hmm. It's pretty desolate, actually. That'd be kind of a cool spot to tuck a place in up against the rock with the snow above. And the green below, and the cave. Speaking of cave... I want to spend a couple more minutes. Let's just dive into this cave real quick and see if we see anything fantastic. Um, a skeleton spawner near the surface would be outstanding. Hint, hint, game. Okay, don't fall down here. This looks a little dangerous. Dangerous enough that we ought to block it up. Maybe we'll see a bad guy. A little bit of adventure? Hmm? That could be kind of fun. There's a drop. Little bit. Little bit of a drop. I'm hearing some kind of noise. I can't... Oh, it's a spider. I was going to say I couldn't quite tell if it was uh, something to worry about or something to not worry about. That's a big pit. Yikes. Ooh. Adventure abounds. This, wow, look at this big dark cavern. Now, if you put a torch on gravel, it could fall. And all the gravel touching it could also fall. Are we going to get an abandoned mine or anything cool? Probably not. Dig. Place. Oh! Hello. Iron. Well lit iron. Saw some darkness over here. There's a spider. What's up, my homie? Da da da. Da, 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 da. Well, lots to see. I mean, lots of different... They're finally a dead end. Uh, lots of places to explore. I'm sure we'll find plenty of iron and coal, if nothing else. 
it seems like we might be able to get down to diamond range fairly easily too in this system. That is definitely a creeper. Yeah, go ahead. Oh look, it's another one. Okay. That's fine. You guys could just take each other out. What are you doing? I didn't attack you. I guess it's dark down here. You're gonna die now, though. Put up a pretty good fight, though, I gotta admit. Why is it light over here? Is there lava over here? There is. It's like a weird shelf of lava above the action there. Oh, I see more descent here. That water is going to make it tough to continue, though. Let's see what's past Creeper Way here. That was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, here's Creeperville 10,000. Wow! Okay. I don't expect to see drops that disappear into the dark and gloom when I'm at a decently low Y level, like 38. These are some big rooms. It's not just a windy little passage like so many of the auto-generated caves of yesteryear seem to have been. I like it. Okay, careful, careful, nothing. Careful. Okay, where were we? Right here. Oh, water. Water is safe. Ish. Why not? You only live once. Uh, did I just say yellow unironically? I think I maybe I did. And if this place is lit, <laughs> then uh, we don't have to worry about bad guys. All right, uh, this seems like a good place to end the episode. Um, way down here at the bottom of a... Oh, come on, camera controls. At the bottom of a creepy little waterfall-y place. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Uh, don't forget to put your suggestions for the outpost names in the comments, and uh, see you later. Bye.